this customer complaining about having mice even though there is a rodent station right there that it is properly filled he's got one two vents where rats mice can actually get in through there that if my finger fits through there a mice is going to fit through there. you walk around the structure over to this side and this other unit is also exposed and there is a station right there so you know they're saying we got a mice problem you know we got a rodent problem install some stations well what about fixing the exclusion unless you do exclusion and you exclude that rat or that mice you're never going to get control a station is to reduce the population in the area not prevent a rat from getting in a building if there is a hole we're going to walk around see what else we find Yeah, this whole building has all of these meshes put up. It's going to prevent raccoons. It's going to prevent rats. But it's not going to prevent other insects from getting under and, and mice. Mice are going to fit through a quarter inch the size of a pencil. There's the station. There's the hole all around this building. So this is a major problem right now where they're complaining about having mice. They've been having mice for over a month. The pest control guy came, he installed rodent blocks thrown in the back of the refrigerator and in the back of the freezer, uh, the stove, to get the control, but violated the label by doing so because the product can't be applied like that. All around the building. All around the building. There's the stations. I mean, they're doing the bare minimum to solve this problem. This should have just been fixed and installed whole new vents that mice can't get through. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Walking around the entire, there's another one. There's another vent. And we're documenting this for the customer that contacted us to, I mean, this one is underground right there, but it can get fixed.